Hey everyone, it's Apianda here, back with another tutorial, and today I am going to show you how to recover or backtrack an old save file that you might have overwritten by accident. And yes, it is totally possible, so if you ever overwrite a game, don't worry, there is a way for you to retrieve it. And if you want to learn this awesome, awesome trick, stay tuned for the rest of the video. So this happens to the best of us as much as we try to prevent it, as much as I try to prevent it, but we just sometimes overwrite those files that you know we spend countless hours on and there is a way for you to retrieve it. So don't worry, your life is not over. <laughs> and I want to say this technique would work 99.9% .9 of the time it has not backfired on me and I actually learned this trick from someone on the web. They had a web page kind of briefly explaining how to do this so if I can locate that web page back I'll go ahead and link it down in the description below but for me like I always say I'm a visual learner I'd rather see someone do a video tutorial that is why I want to share this with you guys I think it's really crucial for you to know how to navigate your safe files. Alright, so first thing of course you're going to need is the Sims 4 game and as well as a saved folder in your electronic art. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a little smaller and we're going to go ahead and locate that folder in Documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 4, and the saved folder. And I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen this and it looks like gibberish. But don't be intimidated, it's a lot easier than you think it would be. And I'll show you guys how to match up, you know, which one belongs to what and what actually shows up in the game. And I'm going to explain to you how this actually works and what each of these files means so you have a better understanding before you go ahead and mess with it. Alright, so there are some very few crucial points that you're going to have to pay attention to, but I will point it out as I go along with this tutorial. So, you know, depending how many save data you have created in the game, that's how much is going to show up in this folder. I have roughly around 10 to 15, so if you have more, the list is going to be longer. If you have less, then it's only going to show a couple. But each save file has these little like extension that says version 0 through 4. So let's just say slot A, and we have six different ones. What that basically means is the game somehow stores and allows you to pick up from the last six saved points that you have created in the game. So if you play a game and you saved it over 20 times, it's only going to show up the last six save points. So that's what the version means, even though it shows the same time, uh, same time stamp as well as the same date, there's six different uh, restore points. And it's the same concept for, you know, B or C and sometimes it might even show numbers like number one, uh, two. The reason I only have one because I mess with the files so don't worry about that. That's not what it's supposed to look like but like number three it has six different save points or unless you kind of mess with it and you know but the max it will show is six different save points. Alright so I hope you guys kind of understand what these little slot A and B and what the version means. Alright, so now let's go ahead and match up to the ones that actually show up in our loading screen in the game. And what you really need to pay attention to in the saved folder is these two right here. The name of the file as well as the date modified. So like I said, the date is very important just because whatever you see in the loading screen, you will have to pay attention to the timestamp. The most crucial point is the timestamp as well as the date. So the first one that always shows up is the one that is auto-saved by the game itself. I want to say you will never need to use that. So anything under it, that's where, you know, in case you overwrite, then that's what you want to locate. So let's do a quick example. Uh, let's do Black Widow 2. So we're gonna look for the date modified on May 11th, 7.02 p.m. And depending how many games you have saved within the same day, that's, you know, it's gonna show up the same date on the folder. But the timestamp will always be different. So that the timestamp is one of the most crucial things you will have to pay attention to. So as you can see, my slot A shows May 11th, 1.33 p.m., which is not the 
file that this belongs to just because it says 702. So we're gonna hunt down May 11th, 702 p.m. So that is actually right here, slot D. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all of it. So there's six different files, but they all belong to Black Widow 2. Even though the timestamp after the original file is different, don't worry, it is still the same file. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and actually jump in the game and, you know, load up from different restore points and show you exactly what I mean. And uh, before we do that, I do want to let you guys know, if you were to mess with these save files, only do it when you're in the main menu. Don't actually touch the files if you're in the game already because that will cause it to crash and it's just going to open a whole world of chaos. So let's go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and do Disney LP. So that says May 11th, 1.33 p.m. So it's actually slot A and there's six different ones. And uh, if you were to mess with any of these files, I would highly suggest that you create a new folder. Go ahead and open it up and drag all of this into the new folder. So this is basically your raw original files that you're not gonna mess with, you're not gonna change the name, you're not gonna drag it out of this folder. You know, just in case you do mess up, like I always mess up, you have something to fall back on. These are your original, your raw. All right, so now if I close this since we moved it into the new folder, you're, you shouldn't be able to see it. As you can see, my Disney LP is gone just because we moved all the files out. And like I said, the first file of, you know, slot A, slot B, that is how the game is able to retrieve that save point. So let's just say, you know, we put in version 0. As you can see, that is the only slot A, but it has a little extension that says version 0. It's not going to load up because it cannot have anything after, you know, so and so letter number dot save. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this, but we're going to go ahead and copy this in. Like I said, don't drag it out. Leave the original files there, but we're going to paste this so you can have two copies, one in each folder. Now we're going to go ahead and load up Disney LP. And once I load up, I'll show you exactly where I am starting from so we can compare that with the other files that we're going to test out later. So as you can see, my game is loaded up. We are at the park with the kids and the timestamp within the game shows Saturday, 2.06 p.m. So this is the first file that we are loading up now let's go ahead and jump back into the main menu and like I said do not touch the save files while you're in the game or else it's just gonna mess everything up but we're gonna go ahead and delete the slot A and we're gonna load up slot A dot version 0. So we're going to go ahead and paste it in here without interrupting whatever's in this new folder. And this is the next crucial point. You're going to rename this file. So we're going to go ahead and delete dot version 0. Go ahead and make the change. And it's going to say if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. I want to say that it's never true. I've done this kind of like a dozen times. It has nothing, it has never backfired on me. So I want to say it would be safe. But like I said, you as, use at your own risk. But at the same time, you still have these raw original files. So it should be okay. All right, so now we're going to load it up again. And as you can see, the timestamp and the date still shows the same. But once you start up the game, it's going to be a different restore point. So right away, you can tell that we did not start up the game at the park, but rather somewhere else. And we have a little questionnaire, so we're just going to go ahead and click it very quickly. And now you can see we are on Friday, 1.52 p.m. So we are actually a day before from what I loaded the first time. So this is kind of like my second to the last save point. So this is where the game is loading from. So let's go ahead and do... Just one more example, just in case you guys are still not getting it. And you know, once it loads back up to the main menu, go ahead and delete the file that we just put in. 
All right, so this time I'm gonna go ahead and place in version three, however long ago I saved the game. Go ahead and copy and um, paste. And same same concept, we're gonna go ahead and delete this so it only shows slot A dot save. Enter it, make the change, and let's go ahead and load it up and see where it brings us. So now you can tell we are on Tuesday, 6.02 a.m. We are even more further back than when we first loaded up the first two times. So now you kind of see what I'm trying to get at where, you know, the, the higher the number version, the further you're going to go back, which, you know, which however long you did the last save. But if you were to overwrite something by accident, I would just say version 0 is the safest bet that that's going to be your second to the last save point. If not version 1, you wouldn't have to roll back that far. So, you know, if you do match up other save points to the timestamp, then it's going to be the same concept for, you know, C. You're going to do the exact same step we did with A, and then, you know, number 1, and, you know, so forth. So I hope you guys do better understand how the saved file works in the Sims 4 folder, and, you know, in case you ever overwrite something, then you kind of know how to backtrack and recover an old save file so like I said I really hope this does help you guys understand and you know if you did overwrite something your life is not over there's a way for you to backtrack so yeah I hope you guys did find this tutorial very helpful it has like I said saved my life many times and uh, like always thank you for watching hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be and of course don't forget to comment rate or subscribe if you haven't already because you're not going to read Regret it, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.